everyone, welcome to today. I am at the beach, we're looking for shells, which is like one of my favorite things in the world to do ever since I was a little girl. Um, we wanted to take Grandma Nita and Grandpa Yoda to the beach to look for shells. Oh, I just found a good one. <sighs> yes, this one is so cool. Look at the pretty like shiny part. You can't really tell, but look, it's like pearl kind of. That's a good one. I am literally obsessed with looking for shells. I could do this forever. We left the babies at home just this time so that we could really explore the rocks and the low tide and stuff and not worry about them. <laughs> that bunch just went in my eyeball. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna look for shells. Okay guys, tell me if you see any that I miss. I don't see, oh, yes, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, so it's the sand inside of it and everything. Okay, this is a good one. I feel like when you look for shells, there's so much to look at. It's really hard for your brain to process like what's a rock and what's a shell. Your eye focuses on things you don't want it to. So I bet you if I show you guys my point of view, there's gonna be comments like, I saw a big shell, you missed it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try that and see, tell me. Okay guys, oh, I see one under here. That's a good one. She's cute, here's one I already found. There's a mussel, but I usually don't pick up mussels because we have so many of them here. Um, hmm. I don't see any, guys. What do you think? I'm so excited to read the comments of this video and see so you guys tell me that I missed some big ones. This one. Oop. That one's pretty cool. Oh, look, this one's like really hidden. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a good find. Yeah, baby. Okay. I'm running out of room in my hands. I feel like I'm missing a bunch. <gasps> Guys, is this not the most fun thing ever? Is this the worst footage I've ever shown you? Or is this the most fun thing ever? I think this is so fun. It's like a treasure hunt. It's like a freaking scavenger hunt, guys. Do you see any more? What am I missing? I don't see any. I think I got all the big ones in this area. Yeah. What do you see? Let's see if you can find it. Oh, good find. That's a beauty. Let's see it, Flynn. Oh, that's gorge. Look at that. That's amazing. Way to get it. Oh, man. How nice. Flynn, look what I found. Oh, another tea. Pretty, huh? What's happening? You're gonna get wet. What the heck is going on over here? Is that little crab in that show? He won't even bite me, I promise. You might pinch ya, be careful. I don't want him to pinch ya. And look at this one's crawling right now on this on this rock down here. Look at him crawling under the water. I also should have done it when I was out there to see if you guys saw any sea creatures. I'm desperate to see like a starfish, which I guess are now called sea stars, and big crabs, like an octopus or something. But I mostly just see sea anemones and sometimes sea urchins and lots of crabs, like little tiny baby hermit crabs. But when I'm out there with Flynn, obviously I'm just holding his hand and like really paying attention because it's very slippery out on these tide pools. One of these days I'll take the camera out and see if you guys can see sea creatures that I'm not seeing. But in the meantime, let's look for more shells before we leave. Okay guys, keep a look out. See anything? I don't think there's gonna be anything up here because I'm pretty far away from the ocean right now and it would have to be an extremely high tide to push something up here. Uh, so I really don't think I will find anything. I think I'm too far away from the water. And I feel like the last time the water was this high was a while ago, so if there were any cool shells, someone probably already got them. I wanna find a really good one. I don't think I'm going to today. I think we're leaving in a minute. So I think I have to be happy with the ones that I have found. Oh, I almost missed this one. These ones always smell really bad. Hmm, I'm not giving up. Look at birds, look how pretty. Is that cool? I'm so impressed. I love the ocean, I love the beach. It's my favorite thing. So awesome. I don't think, I do hear a baby bird. Is there a bird nest around here? Oh no, it's just a regular bird, not a baby bird. But that is like a perfect place for like a little nest or an animal to live in. And another one guys, full of water. Oh my gosh, a lobster tail. 
that probably reeks. I would take it over to Flint, but I don't want to touch it. I don't see anything, do you guys? It's like a game of I Spy. Is this interesting to anybody? Is this the worst video I've ever posted? I feel like I would be so into this. I would be like scouring the video looking because I love looking for seashells, but I don't know if this is interesting to anybody else but me. I always want to go deep in these crevices to find one, but I'm always scared like the cliff will fall on me. <gasps> so you can literally see something shiny. I feel like I should definitely not go in there and get them, but I also feel like I'm going to. Don't do this at home, kids. of the one I've been finding all day. And look at this one. I love that. My personal favorite shells, I obviously love the big ones, but I like the really tiny, cute ones. And those are really fun to look for too. I'll show you. So they're in like the muddy, kind of mucky, pebbly areas. So like here's one, but it has a hole in it, so I probably wouldn't keep her purple. Here's one, ooh, some sea glass. Sea glass is always good. I like the little ones because they're like so fun and easy to find, but only if you like, bend down and get really close, and then you can find them all. I'm sure I'm missing a ton that you guys are gonna yell at me about later. What's that? Oh, it's a shrimp, a dead shrimp. Gross. Ew, it stinks over here. Oh, yes, that's a good one. Look at him, Flynn, he's crawling. Uh, what's going on? What the heck? They're crawling everywhere. I guess I'll let you eat about this Oh, is he crawling over to me? Aren't they so cute crawling around? What the heck? What the heck? That guy is huge. Oh no, look at, look at. What, is the tide coming in? Yes, Look at that collection, Flynn. That is a good seashell collection. Holy smokes, this no, might be the best one we've ever had. No. It's not? It's alive. There's a live one in there? There's a live crab in it? No. Oh gosh, you better put him in the water. Eric just came in and said, I'm gonna wanna see this. He's giving Flynn a present. Keep him close. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's this for? Thank you. So this is forward and reverse, and this is to turn it on. Oh, start it up. Get the gas. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Eric just got that for Flynn. He said he found it really cheap on sale and there's like a show that they've been watching together about like a family that have a bulldozer trailer thingy like that. And he found that and it was on sale and he was like, I'm gonna get it for him just out of nowhere. So lucky Flynn, that is so cool. Flynn has a Jojo Siwa Jeep that he's had since like before he could talk and it is crusty. It's one of the ones that you can drive. He loves it and he drives it every day and he's just obsessed with it, but it's really breaking down. Like all the stickers, the paint job, like it's just completely dried out. You can barely see any of it. It's just, he's driven that thing to the ground. He is obsessed with it and Eric's like, he's driving that thing around every day. I wanted to give him a new one. So that's so cool. What a what a special little gift from that. It's um, very exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to work, but we had so much fun at the beach today. That was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed your little seashell scavenger hunt, but I'm gonna get some work done and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, laundry has been piling up. I'm gonna try to fold it all up and um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that I keep thinking like, oh, I wanna talk about this and then I always forget and never actually do. So this is a very random topic, but I've seen a few times on TikTok people complain about kids flying on airplanes. So I've seen people say like, oh my gosh, a baby on a plane is the worst thing ever. And I've said that in the past. I've totally been ignorant to the fact that kids are humans and deserve to travel too. That's a dumb thing to get upset about. It's literally public transportation. Like, so babies should never be allowed to travel. The parents of the baby should never be allowed to travel. It's really dumb. But I used to think that too. I, I remember being a lot younger and being like, oh. I, didn't, I didn't think babies shouldn't fly, but I remember getting a annoyed when I would hear a baby cry. And now obviously I'm like, oh my God, now when I hear a baby cry, I'm like, I just want to help the mom. I'm like, I hope the mom's okay. Um, because I know having flown with babies, how stressful it can be. And no one is more stressed and freaked out when a baby starts crying than the parent. Like I get like, so like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about was the fact that there's a few people that I've seen being like, oh, don't fly with babies. It's so annoying. And then other people responding and being like, no, it's public transportation. Babies should be able to 
fly, just like every human. And a lot of times, especially in America, people forget that babies are literally human beings and they should be allowed to do whatever any other human being is allowed to do when it comes to like public transportation and restaurants and whatever. So anyway, I've seen people responding to it saying that, but then they also say things like they don't like when people want to switch seats on a plane to sit with their kids. And it's frustrating because like, obviously you have to do it because you don't have to be like a jerk, but it's frustrating that you have to sacrifice your window or aisle seat for like a middle seat somewhere else to switch with someone so they can sit with their family member or their kid. That's annoying because like that's their bad planning and you have to sacrifice your good seat for their bad planning. I've seen a lot of people say that. I've seen a few different people tell different stories about situations where that's happened to them and how frustrating it was, whatever. And so I wanted to talk about that. Even though this is not TikTok, um, maybe some of you have felt that way and I wanted to explain to you something as a parent who's traveled with children and how frustrating the airline system is. Your frustration should not be pointed, in my opinion, at the parents or the family that is separated to get on a plane who is asking to sit with their kids. You should be extremely frustrated with airlines because airlines are the worst. I have not come across an airline that doesn't do this in the like slimiest way ever. So in order to get seats next to each other, you have to like pay way extra. So it's way more expensive to fly with family than to fly alone or as a couple or whatever, especially with kids, it's more expensive. So it upcharges you, which most parents and most people I feel like would pay because they have to. Like I have flown with Flynn before and I have to pay an extra fee to make sure that Flynn sits with me and that he's not put in a random seat. So that happens. But number two, it might not be poor planning. In most cases, parents don't want to be separated from their kids. I can't really imagine a scenario where a parent wouldn't care if they were separated from their kid. And I don't think people are booking flights going like, well, I don't care where my kid sits. I'll just ask whoever is next time to switch with me and they can have my middle seat and I'll have the aisle. Maybe there are people who are doing that, but I really don't think so. That's not what's happening. What if they're traveling because it's like a last minute like funeral or a last minute trip that they have to take and there's no seats next to each other on the plane. They don't have a choice but to get that. And then I have and I have family members who have called airlines repeatedly trying to get our seats together because there were no seats available together online and they say no you have to ask when you get there like they did, literally won't give you the option to sit next to your child they make you ask people on the plane by the way my rant right now is not frustrated with the people who say like they're mad at parents who don't plan properly on airplanes and they have to switch and it's not fair like they're angry at the parents for not pl I'm not upset with them I'm upset with the airlines and this is something that always has bugged me so much and I, like, I have family friends who feel the same way we always like vent about it so like I've had a situation where with Flynn I was like to avoid this problem because I've flown with kids before and they separated all this one time I got my whole family flights to Hawaii and my brother has six kids and I literally tried everything I could to make sure that we were all sitting together like they all had seats together and then once they were booked they all just separated them they weren't sitting together we didn't have a choice but to ask people and hope that they would switch and a lot of people wouldn't switch but that wasn't our fault like we literally booked it like we did plan and we did book and we looked at every airline possibility and we tried our hardest to get everyone to sit together but another time I was trying to avoid that situation so I literally bought me and Flynn first class tickets and sat us next to each other one other thing that could happen is your flight could get delayed or the flight a lot of times they will change the airplane and when they change the airplane the seating plan changes and then they move your seats around like that's happened to me multiple times when I've traveled um, but anyway one time I booked me and Flynn flights on first class I was like if I'm first class they're not gonna switch us you know and I picked the seats I paid for them we were together then when we got to the airport they switched the seats we were not sitting together and so we had to in first class be like I'm sorry can I switch with you so I can sit with my son but I had obviously why would I ever book seats not next to my freaking kid we called the airline when we found out we went up to the desk we asked them and they said no one can help you you have to ask the person on the plane to switch with you so they only give you that option when a parent comes up to you and goes I'm so sorry can you switch with me so I can sit next to my child or can you switch with me so I can sit next to my anxious wife who's has panic attacks or whatever the situation may be in most scenarios it is not because they were bad planners and just didn't care and wanted to ruin your day and make you sit in a middle seat in most situations it's because the airline messed it up and when they tried to get help from the airline the airline was like you just have to ask someone on the plane and make them switch just keep that in mind and I know none of you have said this and this has never even been a topic of discussion on my channel before but I've seen it a few times online and every time I see it I see so many people be like it's just so unfair that we have to switch because of other people's poor planning and I'm like it's not poor planning it's the airlines suck and they make it impossible for families to sit together like I will book a flight for literally my three-year-old I was like he is three he can't sit next to a stranger it's not safe for him it's not safe for anyone around him what if something happens to him like he has to sit with his mom like he has to sit with me and the airline was like there's nothing we can do you can just ask someone to switch with you on the plane like literally not helpful at all this has happened to so many family friends of mine on every different airline they literally will not help you they don't care if you have a one-year-old sitting in a seat by themselves in the back of the plane and you're in the front they do not care they will not help so if you have ever been frustrated in that scenario and been really mad that like someone asked you to switch 
you can sit with a family member. Just so you know, in a lot of situations, and I know it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating when you pay for like a window or an aisle seat and then you have to switch to a middle seat. Infuriating, it's so freaking frustrating, but it's not those people's fault in most cases. It's the airline, they've messed it up and screwed you over because they made you pay for that and then made families sit separately. It's all a mess. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I don't know why I wanted to talk about that, but I think it's just cause like it was too much for me to say on TikTok, but I've been wanting to respond to all these people who are saying that because it's not what they think. And I'm like, you guys, you have no idea like how frustrating it is as a parent to like not be able to sit with your kid. I wouldn't fly. Like there's no, like there, I would, I would do anything obviously to sit next to my children. And I've gone to great lengths to make sure I sit next to my kids and they still separate me from my kids. Kids, as if it's ever happened to more than just Flynn. But I mean like with family members when I've traveled with children, it like happens every time. It's so frustrating. So anyway, I don't know why I wanted to do that right up for you guys, but I'm going to keep folding my laundry and I'll see you guys a little later. Oh my God, I rented for nine minutes. That was too much. Wow. This is what happens when I come into a room. Hi. Oh, hi. You hi. Up. You want up? Up. You want up? Okay. <laughs> you want me to read the book? Macy desperately wants me to read this book. Three little chickens. What's a chicken say? Yep. Four little wormies squirm in the dirt. Six little duckings quack, quack, quack. Seven little birds tweet, 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 tweet. Eight little piggies quack, 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 quack. Nine little froggies jump, jump. Rip it, rip it. Ten little bunnies bouncing around. One more book. What's the puppy say? What's the doggy say? Okay. Three little chickens. Scratch, scratch, scratch. What's a chicken say? <laughs> Maisie loves a book. She loves to read. What's this? Kitty. Oh, kadoos. Who's that? Baby. Is that a baby? Maisie, do you want me to sing Itsy Bitsy Spider or Happy? Happy. I'm so happy. I'm so, oh, where'd you go? What are you doing? Someone asked if the babies have words for things like how Flynn did, because Flynn called like cars dar dars. They have a couple things, not as many as Flynn did. Flynn, everything had a name, but butterflies they call bud buzz. Wes usually calls them buzz, but bud buzz, right? Is this a bud buzz? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So they call a butterfly a bud to butt, and if you say, what does a butterfly say? Usually, they're a little distracting, but usually they go. What does a bud to butt say? Yeah. Oh, cuddles. The kids are eating dinner, and Cory went out and got me a pink pineapple. He just like texted me, he's like, look what I got. I was like, oh my God. So we're gonna try a pink pineapple. Apparently it's pink inside, Flynn. Usually pineapples are just yellow inside, but this one is pink. Pink, your favorite color. And you love pineapple. Like this is what pineapples look like. And you cut it open and inside is the yummy part. They cut the, the stem off? They cut the stem off, yeah, isn't that crazy? Flynn's excited. Are you excited, Flynn? Yeah, I'm just cold. <laughs> okay. I know this is not how you're supposed to cut a pineapple, but this is what I'm doing so we can see the most amount of pink. Here it comes. <gasps> Expecting yeah, that. it smells good. Okay, now we're gonna taste it. So I've got to. No, no, no! I want Coco to smell it. Oh yeah, Coco, you got to smell. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Do you remember the trend many years ago where it was like you can pull off chunks of pineapple yes, and it, it never all, works? It was a hoax. It, it was like if your pineapple's rotten, you can. Yeah, it literally has to be rotten. Okay, I've got a little chunk. We're gonna try it. Cheers. Whoa! Oh, it's so good. It's so juicy. That is a candy. Whoa. It's so good. Oh my god. Win, 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 win. You guys, my computer's making spaceship sounds. It sounds like it's about to take off like a rocket ship. 
you hear that? It's like the fan in the computer, like the computer's working too hard. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get some work done and go to bed. Thanks for watching everybody and coming on our beach adventure and listening to my stupid rant. But yeah, I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys this weekend at some point, I don't know. But look at Gus right now. He's literally sleeping on my foot. Look how cute he is. Look at how sweet he's being. Gus, Gus. Gus, Gus. Oh, you mean a sweetie? At any second, he's going to attack me and kill me, but at least he's being cute for a second. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Bye!